you. All right, thank you very much. Well, we enjoy financial advice from our next guest, and today she was planning on talking about investments. We're going to have a little different spin, especially in light of this breaking news that we've just had about the stock market. J.B. Bryan, it's good to have you back. It's good to be here. Interesting start to the day. Yeah. Very interesting. The mood in the studio and the entire newsroom changed immediately. This really can have a tendency, this kind of news, to start a panic. And, well, it is. We're experiencing that's exactly what's going on. Uh, the investors are panicking. And uh, and unfortunately, that's your job, you know, to report what's really going on. But as investors, we have to focus on our specific financial goals and use this as an opportunity to make sure that you've been listening to the things that we've talked about, uh, that we've talked about diversification. And diversification is very important when it comes to days like this. Have you made sure that your portfolio is spread across different asset classes, which is part of diversification? Do you have only stocks or small company stocks or things that would be found on the NASDAQ? So when you break it down and you say NASDAQ and Dow and S&P, you're talking about different types of stocks. And do you have a variety of different types of stocks as well as bonds? And if you are very conservative and days like this make you crazy, then why would you have an overwhelming percentage of your money in stocks anyway. So, um, and, and that happens, unfortunately. So it's a time to make sure that you have your financial advisor is in tune with your risk tolerance. Because if you're not a, a risk, a, a scary person, and this, these days don't frighten you, and the other positive aspect is that this is a great buying opportunity. It's, uh, and the challenge is, finding out what is the appropriate uh, investment for you to purchase on days like this. Um, things that you might have been looking at before, if that company is still very healthy and has long-term earnings potential, well, what about today really changed that company's ability to perform over the long term? So we don't want to make uh, long-term decisions based on short-term changes in the market. Not reactionary long-term changes. No, no, if you're investing, which investments, and we're talking about stocks, stocks are long-term investments. Yes, there are people who do day trading, but there's a smaller, much smaller number of day traders than there are people who are really using stocks appropriately. So when we're looking at the stock market that, yes, it's, we're having challenges for today, but over the long-term, you know, this this could be uh, a minor change. We're not uh, talking about uh, um, a specific um, something that is specifically relevant that over the next three or five years is going to stop our economy to, from having the ability to produce. Yes, um, the market is interest rate sensitive, but yes, you are investing for your long term. So if interest rates are increased, as you know, that is you know really talked about as well as China. You know, how relevant is that to your specific long term goals as an investor? So we really want to stay in tune with why am I investing appropriately? Am I well diversified? Have I actually planned for times like this? And am I dollar cost averaging? And that's what you do, Jessica, in your 401k. When you purchase, if today is the day where your payroll is coming out and you're putting money into the market, where you're actually being able to accumulate more shares of each investment that you're making if they've experienced a drop in the price per share of that particular mutual fund. So when you're dollar cost averaging, putting money in and accumulating consistently over time, you're able to take advantage of times like this instead of seeing it as as, oh, this is, you know, terrible. That is this, you know, is your allocation appropriate? And are you continuing to accumulate during times like this? Not making light of it, but in perspective, they, these, some of these stocks have basically just gone on sale. So if you know what you're doing or your financial advisor knows what they're doing, they can take advantage yep. of that as an opportunity. We have about a minute left, but a lot of folks watching may say, well, I'm an average bear. I, it's, it, it, it scares me. I mean, I, yeah, we've yes. only just recovered from this last huge loss that we all yes. experienced. So yes. the, the key lesson that would seem to echo in this would be diversification. And look at yourself. Look at your goals. Look at yourself. Talk to your advisor and make sure that you have invested, appropri invested appropriately. And that's the people who really go on the news and say, I lost half of everything that I have. They really made some bad decisions 
in, in, anyway. Mm -hmm. They were in some, you know, they were not well diversified across asset classes in the beginning, or they weren't in tune with their risk. J.B. Bryan offers financial money <laughs> seminars every Wednesday at noon at her office, 4860 Cox Road, Suite 200 in Glen Allen. These workshops are free, but registration is required. For more information, head online to WTBR.com slash VTM. We thank all of our guests for being with us today. Virginia This Morning's back tomorrow at 9 right here on CBS 6, and we'll have more on this stock market situation on the CBS 6 News at noon with Cheryl Miller. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.